voyagers could either travel by wagon or by ship. This, took, this was very expensive and took many days and months to do. In the 1830s, everyone agreed that connecting the east and west coast by train was a great idea. That would be a much easier and faster way to travel. In order to make this possible, the railroad routes would need to connect and create one long transcontinental path. In 1861, Congress ruled the railroad would run from Nebraska to California. The tracks would stretch 2,000 miles. In order to lay the tracks, the forest had to be cut down. Rocky Mountain ranges blasted. Bridges built across ravines and lands moved. The Union Pacific Railroad Company began laying tracks in Omaha, Nebraska, and the Central Pacific Railroad began laying tracks in Sacramento, California. Many people worked very hard to see the tracks placed. People from Ireland, China, and Mexico all came to earn a living in the United States working on the railroad. Heavy pieces of iron track were placed and bolted together with metal spikes, large heavy hammers, and pounded each spike into place. The six-year project ended with a celebration and a gold spike was pounded into the final spot. Newspaper reporters and many others gathered to celebrate. Bands played, telegraphs were sent, photographs were taken, and a special train arrived. This event changed the way people lived. It used to take months to travel. People could now buy and sell items they couldn't before. This year is the 150th anniversary of this incredible event. 